In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can check your system configuration and also how you can check your graphics card, your system model, everything about your system. And the reason why I'm making this video is because of the questions I often get on my Telegram channel, YouTube, and so many other platforms. People coming into my DM on Instagram, Telegram, and WhatsApp asking me how can they actually check their system configuration. So, I decided to make a video about this. Besides that, I went to TubeBuddy and um, did a search on this and the result was quite very excellent. So this is quite a very good topic because you can see it's 100 over 100. So I decided to make a video about this because this kind of video, a lot of people are searching for this kind of stuff from the information I got from TubeBuddy. Now, in this video, I'm going to lay everything. I'm going to give you like three steps on how you can check your system, um, both windows, both your system name, both your system model, everything about your system, and even your graphics card, your memory, and all that. Now, at the end of this video, I will also show you guys some things you have to check out if your system is running slow, okay? How you can find out what is actually causing your laptop or your desktop to run slow, okay? How you can actually find out if it's a particular software or if it's a virus or if it's and what is actually causing your system is it ram is it cpu is it um, um gpu is it wi-fi what is actually is it hard disk what is actually causing your system to be very slow so we're going to dive right into my system now and i'm going to walk you guys through on everything you need to know on how to check your system configuration and also how to check exactly what is making your system to run slow now the very first one i'm going to show you guys is the least one okay this one is not going to give you much information but i am going to first of all start with this which is most of the time if you go on top of your desktop you see my computer or my pc once you click on that my pc you right click on it and you go to properties which is what i am going to do with a folder there's no uh, my PC or my computer on my desktop. So if you, if you don't have it on your desktop, the only way you can look at it is open any folder at all. I'm going to open any folder. Once you open any folder, just look by the left hand side. You can see this is PC, this PC. Once you click on this PC, then you right click on it and you go to properties. This is the very least one. Once you go to this property, this place is just going to give you your system name, your processor, okay, called i7, you know, 8550, blah, 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 install RAM, 16 gig, you know, device ID, product ID, system type, you know, pen and touch device. If you scroll down a little bit, you will now see Windows specification, which is Windows 11 Home, okay? Version, you can see the version installed on the date in which this window is installed on this system os built okay and so on now from here you can rename your pc by clicking on the name and you change the name of your pc but we're not going to do that this is the very first one okay and there are no much details on this particular one so the next one is by you going to the search section of your system and typing system you can see when you okay type system you see system configuration don't go to system configuration type system information okay that is what you're looking for system information and click on the system information once you click on the system information a new window is going to pop up if you look up here you see file edit but under the file edit view and help the system summary once you click on this system it's already clicked okay if you look down here, you will see OS name, Windows 11 Home version, other OS description not available, OS manufacturer, this place will tell you your manufacturer, Microsoft, okay, corporation, system name, system manufacturer HP, okay, system model HP NV X360 convertible, okay, now system type, that's 32, that's 64 bit, this one is 64 system sku okay these are different things that you will see okay now this is your processor okay full information this is your bios just like that bios mode okay you can if you scroll down a little bit there are a lot of information here if you scroll down a little bit you will now see installed physical memory 16 gig total physical memory 15.9 available physical memory 8. Um, 38 or something 
total virtual memory you can see that available virtual memory just like page file and every other thing okay now here is going to give you full information about your system but the thing is this place is not going to give you your gpu model and which is very very important i would, I would like you to stick around this video is not just um, a couple of minutes let me just show you how you can check your graphics card model okay because this place is not showing you your gpu the model of your gpu how many gig dedicated is your gpu and the rest okay now if you want to find out about that although here you can still go here and see some other information about your hardware but that's a long thing this place is a little bit confusing okay now let's close this and um go over to search by again if you want to um know your gpu and every other thing go and type tax manager once you type tax manager on your system you can see tax manager click on tax manager or click on enter on your system and this place is going to open once it opens mine is located on top of here sometimes um, yours might be by the left corner like the one we just left now okay your own might be by the left corner okay by the left corner here where you see all these um, mozilla notepad just by the left corner but on my own system is on top here so this is processing or processor these are the applications that are on leave that and go to the next one which is performance now on this page this is where you will see your cpu your gpu your hard disk everything okay this is where on cpu now you can see the movement of our cpu the cpu is moving very well this is intercore tmi7 8550u cpu 1.8 gigahertz okay now this is this the, the, the usage okay if you now go down here you will see utilization what I'm doing on my system, my CPU is being 14% of my CPU, between 14% and 31% is what is being used. You can see 25, just like 20, it will come down to 13, just like that. Okay, speed can still get up to 2. Point something gigahertz. You can see 1.2, but if I'm running some other things, you can see 2.62. So the speed, apart from the fact that it's 1.8 gigahertz, it can also get to 2. Point something gigahertz. Now, this is very, very important. You have to monitor if this, um, um, wave goes up that means your cpu is carrying a lot of load all right now if you come down here this is memory installed memory if you look up here this installed memory here is 16 gig okay now if you come down here again you see in use 7.4 gig is what this system is using now available is 8.3 gig this is what is available all right now if you go to your disk now if you look at your memory you will see that this is the wave the level in which your memory if your memory gets to 100 percent huh, that means your system is utilizing almost all your memory which is not quite very healthy for your system all right please take note of this is very very important all right so let's go down to um disk now this is disk down here you can see the wave is quite the disk is running very very well active time between 0. Um, 0. 0.1 to 0. 0.710 all right so this is where you will see your this is 466 gigabytes this is 512 gb all right so the next one is wi-fi this is your wi-fi wi-fi is just running normal and the next one is gpu GPU, you can see utilization 14% and the GPU shared GPU here is 8 GB. 8 GB is shared. This system does not have dedicated GPU. This is shared GPU. If it's a gaming laptop, if it's this laptop by my right, you will see not shared. You will see dedicated GPU, 8 gig dedicated GPU. Now, if you look up here, you see Intel UHD 620. This 620 cannot run the face or high um, gaming and high graphics application. This is just a normal system for maybe editing and so many other things and Photoshop, Corel Draw, you know, you can power all those ones. Okay, but if it gets to higher 
softwares you know that needs a high gpu this cannot power it now you can see now pay very attention i said earlier in this video that i'm going to show you guys how you can find out what is actually making your system to go slow now if it's on the hardware side this gpu at any point it shouldn't get to up to 100 percent if it gets up to 100 percent nothing is going to happen but that means whatever you're running on your system has utilized all your gpu um, um, power okay now the same with disk if your disk is getting to 100 percent your system must be slow i've been using system for so many years okay and this is what i noticed once your disk is getting to 100 percent your system must be slow there's no two ways about that so at any and what causes this is that a virus or some applications that is not good or your some fragments or some sections of your hard disk is having issue maybe you need to format your hard disk but sometimes if you want to have this if your hard disk has some hardware issues you know some section of it if it's having issues even if you format it and install in a new window after some time it will start going to 100 percent and this is the major thing that slows your system down writing and reading file from the hard disk actually slows no matter how fast your processor is no matter how fast your memory is writing and reading from the hard disk is actually slow system down once it gets to 100 percent okay so take note of this now memory don't allow your memory to get to 100 percent hardly before memory gets to 100 percent unless you're using a very high application you can see what is being used here is 7.6 okay and 8.5 is available same thing with cpu cpu at any time it gets to 100 percent you notice that the fan of your laptop will increase as it will start making noise it will start blowing very fast you'll be hearing the sound of your laptop if it's a gaming laptop normal gaming laptop makes noise normally okay now if it's software this is the hardware section okay make sure you check these things if your system is running slow, very slow this will actually tell you what is actually making your system to go slow anyone that gets to 100 percent that means that is actually the particular hardware that is slowing your system down now if it's software leave this performance and go to processes okay if you go to processes you can see this you can see this one is high what is high there this is obs and why this obs is a little bit high is because my obs is actually recorded okay it's recording this screen all right and um, this is moderate moderate is femora 8 my femora software is also open you can see my Fimura is also open, but I'm not doing anything with it. So what is actually consuming majority of this um, system, memory, and CPU is the Fimura, which is video editing software, which we all know that video editing software is very um, strong software because it rules videos, okay? So production and every other thing. And the next one is OBS. OBS is currently active recording video. So this is exactly how you can find out if it's software that is taking your system slow, making your system to go slow, or if it's hardware. If it's hardware, just go to performance. If it's software, go to processes. And once you scroll down, if you look here, you can see, you can see here, power usage. This is the power usage. Sometimes it will show red, which means that particular thing is actually taking the memory, the processor, you know, making the system to go very slow. So this is exactly how you can find out if it's a hardware that is making your system to go slow or if it's a software that is making your system to go slow i just hope you guys understood everything i said in this video don't forget right click first one right click on your computer if you right click on your computer or just if you don't have my computer on the desktop open any folder and just go to my computer here right click on it click on properties and it's going to open the basic information if it's not that Click on search and type system configuration, system information, not system configuration. If you click on system information, it will give you more details. Now, after that, if you want to check your GPU and monitor, which is the most important one, type tax manager. And once you open your tax manager, your tax manager will give you every information. You can go to hardware, you can go to processes if it's software related issue. So that is all. I just want to share with you guys in this video and if this video was helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up all right
Now you guys can see how I detail this, okay? You can take these three steps that I showed you to check your system um, configuration and know exactly what is wrong with your system. And for those of you that always ask me, how can they check their GPU, their memory, their everything? This is one of the videos that I'll be sending to you guys so that you guys will watch this video and know exactly what to do whenever I say, send me your system configuration. And if you're watching my video for the first time, my name is Aswee Ken Nakinsley, and on this channel, I give you tips and solutions on how to make money online and other relevant tips that helps in our daily online space. But during the weekend, I make sure I give you update your new games and app in the virtual reality space so if you wouldn't want to miss any of my content make sure you're subscribed to this channel and make sure the notification button is turned on so that you'll be the first to know once i upload a new video i will see you guys in my next video like always you guys should stay creative and remain blessed